This week is one of the most special Shabbosos of the entire year. It's called Shabbos Shuva, a Shabbos that is designated for Shuva. Not only that, but Shabbos Shuva, of course, is in the Aseris Yemei Shuva, the 10 days of repentance, which will lead us in to Yom Kippur, the Day of Atonement. And in this week's Haftarah, we read, Shuva Yisrael Ad Hashem Elekecha. Shuva Yisrael is a lotion, is an expression which is written in singular form. Shuva Yisrael ad until Hashem Aleikecha. There seems to be something missing. Why? It's only up until Hashem. Because you have stumbled, you have sinned. What could possibly be the sin? Well, if it's singular lotion, if it's only one person, if you're doing this by yourself, then you're not doing it right. Kichui mochem dvarim, plural. Take others with you. Then vishuvu, together, all of us will return el to Hashem, not ad, we won't stop to write before Hashem, but it will go El all the way, Kaviochel, as if to say, right on to Hashem's lap. Because when we do it together, we're different. We know that Yom Kippur, the Day of Atonement, does not work unless Yeratze es Chaveira, unless you ask your friend for forgiveness. We're all friends. Better yet, we're all brothers and sisters. And I know some of you might be thinking, oh, come on. I wear this type of yarmulke. He wears that type of a yarmulke. She dresses one way. She doesn't. Come on. We're not all brothers and sisters. Listen to this story. Rav Kalman Krohn passed away last year. Very, very special Jew. One of the greatest Jew lovers of our time. And he was a Haredi Jew, very, very strong in what he believed. However, when he came one time to Israel, he was taking a taxi ride with a Nahag Chiloni, an irreligious taxi driver. And he says to the guy, you know, Nahag, Achimanachnu, you know, we are brothers. And he says, Ach, Achim, brothers, we're not brothers. I'm not religious. And you're super ultra religious. And he said, no, I'm telling you we're brothers. And again, the driver insisted that the two of them had nothing to do with each other. And Rib Kalman Krohn says, I'm telling you, I heard it from my Rebbe. He told me that we're brothers. He says, really? Who's your Rebbe? Me a Rebbe Shilcha. And Kalman Krohn looks at him squarely in the eye and he says, My Rebbe, Adolf Hitler. He did not differentiate between Jews. Didn't make a difference what you looked like. Didn't make a difference what type of yarmulke or hat you wore or didn't wear. A Jew was a Jew. And they all would suffer the same fate. And so now, thank God, we live, Baruch Hashem, in a free world. And God is very good to us. And we see his kindness openly. So Yom Kippur is a time when we have to look at all Jews with a loving eye, because indeed we are all brothers and sisters. And if we know that, and we believe it, and we act like that, then Vishuvu. El Hashem. We're all doing tshuva, we're all returning, and Hashem is forgiving us all.